What if I told you the Farlands still existed in Minecraft's newest update? Crazy, right? Let me fill you in for those of you that have been living under a rock for the past 12 years. The Farlands were initially created as a glitch caused by errors in Minecraft's terrain generator, resulting in a surreal landscape of distorted terrain, floating islands, and bizarre features. You could reach the Farlands by traveling over 12 million Minecraft blocks. So when I was doing my daily Reddit scroll to steal video ideas, I found a peculiar image. Posted by Reddit user TurbulentHour3200, it was a screenshot of what looked like a version of the Farlands in Minecraft Snapshot 23W13A. I immediately began my search for Minecraft's newest Farlands. After doing a 5 minute Google search, a version of the Farlands actually still exists in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Found originally by Reddit user Jerurax, 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 and showcased in this Minecraft and Chill video, it shows huge gaps in Minecraft's terrain generation that leads to la massive lava lakes close to bedrock. This was something I had to see for myself. Installing Minecraft Bedrock Edition, I was able to navigate to this terrain anomaly. Go. Hey, it doesn't seem like it's working. Oh, here we go. I think we might have found the Far Lands and Bedrock Edition. Whoa, look at that. That's so cool. It's just huge lava chasms. The idea of being able to reach the Far Lands, or a version of the Far Lands, and newer Minecraft versions fascinated me. Over the next several days, I watched countless videos that featured the Far Lands in any way. I wasn't having any luck finding a way to get to a version of the Far Lands similar to the screenshot originally posted. That was until I found a very interesting video. The video, titled What's Beyond the Far Lands, included a document that, um, hmm. Um, anyways, it was a guide to the Far Lands in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. After skimming through the article and picking out numbers that looked cool, it didn't work. Wait, 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 what? I guess they must have patched it. But there was one coin that did work. If you traveled out 16,777,216 blocks from spawn, you would be able to come to the Stripe Lands. Here, Minecraft considers one out of every two blocks to be invalid. Invalid blocks are not rendered, and you cannot occupy them, and nothing exists in the gaps. That's cool and all, but it's not the Far Lands, so I kept looking. My next idea was to go back into Minecraft Java Edition, and just use the spectator mode to fly past the border and see what happened. We can't go any farther than 10, 15 blocks out. Okay, so it wasn't possible to fly outside the world border and videos showcasing how to break the world border utilized older versions of Minecraft. I was theorizing so many different ways to break the world border and learning so much about the Farlands that I might as well have just been Ant Venom. <laughs> After spending close to a week trying to figure out this problem, I came to my last resort. I was gonna message the creator. That's when I read the description. Wait. I immediately loaded up a new Minecraft world and followed the instructions exactly. I put a professional weight on my keyboard and left for dinner, hoping that when I came back, my I would have reached Minecraft's newest Farlands. Are you stuck waiting for your Minecraft character to reach the Farlands? Yes. Why don't you watch some YouTube? But there's so many options. Which YouTuber should you choose? How about you try the officially recognized by YouTube YouTube channel Mild Jelly? His content is the bomb. Enjoying yourself? Great. See that red or white subscribe button? Why don't you hit it? Awesome. You've just subscribed yourself to the Mild Jelly YouTube channel. Just joking, guys. It's actually been me this entire time. I know. I know. I got you. Look, I'm currently in the race with this other YouTuber named Orange. He has no idea that we're racing, but trust me, we are. I need your help to overtake him in subscribers. Look, my content is a trillion times better than this guy. So subscribe right now so I can beat him in subscribers. While I don't have any footage of what happened next, you're going to need to have to take my word for it. After coming back from dinner, I hadn't even traveled a hundred thousand blocks, and the room with my computer in it was basically on fire. This clearly wasn't going to work out. Wait, 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 wait. Before you leave, I've saved the best and the most possible method for last. There is actually an easy way to port the original Farlands into the newest version of Minecraft. It's so easy that even you can do it at home. Just follow these steps. Step one. 